Hi, welcome back to this channel. Today I'm going to introduce you to what are called declension tables, which are a load of fun, really a load of fun to learn. Uh, what the hell are declension tables? Uh, basically it shows you how to change a noun depending on case and the spelling. Uh, we're going to focus on one today and that's the one that ends in every most consonants and it's probably the easiest to learn. Uh, we're going to use the word stall, meaning table, as just an example, because it's just the easiest one I use to remember stuff. <clears throat> okay, so you have the nominative case. It's male, obviously, but this is doesn't really the gender doesn't really matter that much. It's just the spelling that matters. Then you have stully, which is the, basically the plural form. So you have singular plural. Uh, then we have what's called nominative genitive. What the hell does that mean? Uh, so if the thing is alive, the accusative case will take the genitive ending. If it's not alive, then it won't and take the nominative ending. So it's like nominative or genitive, kind of like this. So table is not alive. So if you're talking in the accusative case with a table, it doesn't change at all. It's just the same as the left. So you would just say stool, stully. So, et the stall, ya visual stall. It doesn't change at all. It does change for other things, but that's another thing. Say, for example, if you say, uh, drug, friend. Friends are alive. So you say, ya visual druga. Not, ya visual drug. No, ya visual druga. Because it's alive. Yeah, anyway. So, then we have. Uh, so they're, they're the same. The accusative is the same. So nominative, accusative, they're the same. Don't have to worry about it in this situation. Um, then we have the genitive case. So the genitive case, it's you add a and you add of. Uh, a lot of the time the stress in Russian is very annoying because it kind of changes. Because it's stall and then stali. So it begins in a because it's not stressed and then stala, stalov. If I'm remembering them correctly. Uh, I'm not actually reading anything right now, I'm just remembering all this stuff. So you have stol, stali, stala, stalov. Uh, and again, the genitive case is like used for like of something. You also use it in lots of situations, like, like a ton of prepositions. But say for example, you want to say a lot of tables, you'd say manoga stalov. Uh, so you just add, you take the noun and just add these endings to it. Uh, one thing that's useful is there aren't really any exceptions, really. There are a few exceptions. Most of them are like irregular plurals. So for example, you have drug changes to drusia, which is kind of annoying, so it changes endings. But that's rare. That doesn't really happen that often. Normally it stays the same. So Okay, next we have the prepositional case which is nastalia, which is basically the same for most things. I can't, it doesn't change for anything else. Even with countries, you say for example, uh, it doesn't really work exactly with countries, but say for example, London. Uh, I'm in London. You have a London year. London year. You just add an air to the end. Nastalia. You just add an air sound if you're in or on something. Uh, you kind of remember this quite quickly. Uh, then we have the weird one, <laughs> which is the plural, which is where you add ach, which is like very weird for anyone to say, who's because <laughs> adding h at the end of a word is very weird, but nastalach, meaning on the tables, plural, nastalom, on the table, nastalach, on the tables. And next we have the dative case, which isn't really used that much uh, with nouns, to be honest, which is just u. You add an u to the end, so you could say kustalu means towards the table, to the table. You don't really say this very often, honestly. It's mostly used with people, because you say like minye neravitsa, meaning to me pleases, to me, or on dal minye he gave to me. We don't really use it with you know things that often. Um, and then the plural form is stalam. Again, you don't really say to towards the tables. Kustalam. You don't really say this, though, honestly, that much. <clears throat> and finally, we have the instrumental case, which is om ami. Um, 
it's a lot easier to remember the the plural of instrumental case because it's so common it's the same everywhere um so with friends you say sdruziami yeah uh yeah puto vel sdruziami um you add ami to the end when it's plural and om when it's yeah so so for example you say pad stalom above the table or pad stalami above the tables uh there are lots of like things that you normally use it with with that's how you normally remember the instrumental case it's with something i was talking with my friend yeah i'll go through the adjective endings later just not now a bit complicated to do that all in one video so you should probably save this table somewhere uh because you need to look at it quite a lot don't sit there trying to remember it like you won't be able to it's best to probably like read things look at people like read texts read books and then oh i see look i see look there's there's this ending that's male so it must be the in the genitive ending or you just like you look like, like that that's what i did to learn i just simply read a lot of words and then when i saw something it's oh that's this case oh that's that case just look use it like that don't try to remember it because you won't be able to saying that though i can actually just remember this without reading anything <laughs> which anyway it's just kind of burned in my brain i can't forget it all right let me give you some examples so what you normally do is just add the endings to whatever it is sometimes if there's a vowel at the end you'd remove the vowel but there's no vowel here so here are some examples. So first we have the nominative case. This is a table. These are tables. Eto stol, eto stoli. So you just use the nominative case here. Then we have the accusative case. Because um, it's, again, it's the object of the sentence. I see table. I see I see a table. I see tables. Ya visual stol, ya visual stoli. You're basically just using the endings here. Then we kind of have to change it a bit. Um... I mean, I could use numbers or something like that, but I just chose, chose to do of. So, Razmir Stala, Unik Menoga Stalov. The size of the table, they have many tables. You can't really say many with singular, so I changed the sentences. But Next prepositional, on the table, on the tables. Nastalia, Nastalach. Toward the table, towards the tables. Kastalu, Kastalam, which you don't really say this like ever. You use it with pronouns mostly, mostly, but anyway. Then finally, instrumental case, Podstalom, Podstalami, under the table, under the tables. Now we have uh, irregular uh, noun. <clears throat> so sometimes the, the plural form will be different and sometimes the endings are different. Here we have Drug and the plural form is Druzia. That basically means that the, the endings will change in... We, Mostly only changes in the genitive and the accusative. Accusative because it's alive, so it would be the genitive ending. But uh, So yeah, drug is alive, so you use the genitive ending in the accusative case. Um, and because it's ya, you change it to a when it's genitive. And you also add a ya when it's in prepositional, but the pronunciation is basically the same. You say, for example, nastalach, druziach. It's like, it's the same. You don't really even care. Just the spelling changes. Anyway, okay, here we have, this is my friend, these are my friends. Ette moi drug, ette mai druzia. Then the uh, instru uh, the accusative case, so I met my friend, I met my friends. Jav stretil mai vo druga, jav stretil mai druzie. Um, these are basically the genitive endings, but it's in the accusative case. <clears throat> Next we have genitive, this is my friend's car. To denote ownership, you like of, you put it at the end of the sentence with the genitive ending. And I have many friends. Uh, so, eta machina maevo druga, umenya yest monoga druzie. Right, and then with about, you use the prepositional case. So, I'm talking about my friend, I'm talking about my friends. Ya gavaru a moyam drugia, ya gavaru a maich druziach. Then, uh, so yeah, with the dative case, to say I like something, you normally use the dative and then in the ravitsa. You could also use lublu for love, 
but you, yeah, it's less um, strong, I guess, to just say like. But anyway, so this, you got to use the dative case, which is a bit difficult to do. But anyway, so my friend likes this film. My mudrugu naravaset etet film. Meaning, to my friend pleases this film. My friends like this film. My imdruziam inravitsa etet film. So the verb inravitsa will conjugate based on the... Uh, Will conjugate on the film, so it won't be plural here, which can be a bit confusing. If it's plural, then it'd be Naravatsa. Anyway, um, it's basically like saying this film pleases to my friends, is what you're saying, literally. Then finally, we have I'm talking with my friend, I'm talking with my friends. Yeah, let's go very well, so my drugam. Yeah, let's go very well, so my me druziami. So basically, this is how declension works. There are other tables which I'll have to show you. Uh, there are like three of the most common ones. The most common for male is just ends in a consonant, which is this one. There's ends in A, and then there's ends in O. Those are the three most common ones that you probably need to know. Um, but yeah, we'll get to those next time. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll see you guys next time.